Time now for our coronavirus Q&A and joining us today is Adriana Cruz, who is the executive director of economic development and tourism with Governor Greg Abbott's office. First of all, Adriana, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. I, I want to start by asking you a little bit. I know you're dealing mostly on a statewide level, but I want to start by asking you um, about San Antonio specifically. You know, San Antonio has a huge tourism and hospitality industry. What do you anticipate the impact to be in San Antonio specifically versus other areas of the state? Um, well, absolutely. Uh, tourism is extremely important to the state of Texas. It's one of our largest industry sectors, and, and of course, it's extremely important to the city of San Antonio. Uh, the data that we're seeing from the U.S. Travel Association and Tourism Economics, they're expecting about a third uh, uh, decline in uh, tourism spending uh, in 2020. 2019 was a banner year for the state of Texas, um, and so we're, we're going to see some declines um, given the current situation and, and the uh, a stay at home um, that we're seeing in so many communities and, and travel has basically ceased. Um, so it is going to be impactful uh, to all of our communities, large and small, particularly impactful to those for whom tourism uh, is one of their largest industry sectors. And so we do see that that is, is something that is going to have an impact. Yeah, you're describing San Antonio there when you say tourism is is huge because that's for sure. Now, it, obviously, you've also been uh, in communication with a lot of small businesses out there. Uh, in the break, we talked a little bit, and you told me that you've been doing a number of webinar webinars with the Texas Workforce Commission. What are you telling? What's your main message to some of these business owners who are wondering if they're going to be able to make it to the next month and the next month and the next month? Uh, ab absolutely. Um, we have been partnering with the Texas Workforce Commission, with the Small Business Administration, and with local uh, small business development centers and uh, workforce solutions in different areas of the state. I think that one of the first ones that we did was actually with, um, we did one with the San Antonio Chamber. Uh, actually, a, a group of all of the San Antonio Chambers got together um, for small businesses in San Antonio. And then I just did one with the Workforce Solutions Alamo. And, you know, what we're hearing is uh, a lot of trying to understand um, unemployment insurance, uh, some of the changes in regulations. Governor Abbott uh, waived the 10-day requirement uh, to be able to file for unemployment. Um, also uh, waived was the um, uh, re requirement that you be searching for a job. Um, so some of those uh, waivers have already taken place. Um, and then the Small Business Administration has rolled out some new programs, uh, one which actually took effect today, which is uh, the uh, Paycheck Protection Program, or, or PPP. Um, and that's a, a loan up to $10 million so that small businesses can uh, make their paychecks, make their payroll. Uh, and these are forgivable loans if you keep your employees. Um, there's also uh, Governor Abbott issued, uh, uh, requested a disaster declaration uh, from the Small Business Administration so that our Texas businesses could qualify for the Economic Injury Disaster Recovery Loan Program. And another addition to that is if you are applying for an economic injury loan, you can request an advance of $10,000 on that loan. Um, and those advances are being made available within three days of the application. So just working together with our community partners and our state agency partners, we're trying to get that information out there uh, so that all of our small businesses can uh, make their applications and get the assistance that they need right now. Yeah, Absolutely. there is help out there. And, and you, you brought up a loan that, that, you know, I'm not a small business owner, but it grabbed my attention that if you keep, you can take out a loan to keep your employees paid and then it's forgiven if you do that at the end of the loan, correct? That's correct. Yeah. Um, and that is the Paycheck Protection Program. Uh, there's information about all of these uh, loans and, and uh, forgivable loans, how to apply, uh, of course, at the SBA website, sba.gov. Uh, but we also at the governor's office have created a uh, COVID-19 page for Texas businesses uh, that sort of compiles and aggregates all of the resources that we're seeing with other state agencies, the Comptroller's Office, Texas Workforce Commission, uh, and that's at gov.texas.gov backslash business. 
Uh, there's also a, a, a red button on there for coronavirus. You click on that and it takes you to directly to the coronavirus page. Uh, there's also an email uh, subscription that you can sign up for so that as we get new information, we are pushing that information out. This is a very fluid situation. Programs are becoming available uh, quickly. And so we're trying to just keep everyone as informed as possible on what the resources are that are available to them. Absolutely. You know, when this is all over and hopefully it's over soon, I think that's a hope for everybody. Um, how do you think Texas is going to fare compared to other areas of the country? And can you speak to us about some of the planning going on behind the scenes um, to ensure that recovery? Sure. Well, you know, Texas uh, had the um, has probably still the strongest economy in the country, uh, the highest job creation rate in the country. Uh, we have a diverse economy and we have been uh, working hard to diversify our economy, um, not just the hospitality industry um, and oil and gas and energy sector, but technology and uh, life sciences and manufacturing. So uh, we have a diverse economy. Um, the thing that, you know, the things that make Texas a great place to live and to work and to do business have not changed. Um, those uh, things are going to continue to be here. Our, our productive workforce, our diverse workforce of 14 million. Um, and so, you know, working together, uh, we're working with our community partners uh, to make sure that we are ready uh, for the um, economic recovery and, and to come back and be continue to be the best state in the country to do business. Do you have any projections, uh, you know, if, if this, so if the stay at home orders are lifted, let's say in June, July, August, sometime this summer, how long before the economy rebounds? Have you have you narrowed it down that far yet? We haven't narrowed it down that far um, at this time. Um, you know, certain sectors uh, and that that's the, the great thing about a diverse economy is that uh, it's impacting some sectors um, more than others. Uh, while there are a lot of uh, people um, facing job loss right now, there's a lot of companies that are hiring at the same time. Um, and so there's a lot of uh, manufacturers that are continuing to manufacture. Uh, they're actually retooling uh, to try to provide um, supplies um, as far as uh, medical needs that we have. And so, um, you know, it, it's really hard to say right now. Um, we're monitoring, of course, um, our, our economic factors and our uh, unemployment rate. Uh, we know that that's going to go up and there is going to be an impact, uh, but we're hoping that um, that's as, as minimal as possible. All right, Adriana Cruz, thank you so much with the Executive, or Executive Director of Economic Development and Tourism. Thank you again so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Appreciate thank your you, time. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.